This is Adam from Lizard Wraps. Uh, I'm, today I'm going to show you guys some uh, vectorizing techniques uh, that we use over here. Uh, hopefully it'll help you on Flexi. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we need to find an image. So we're going to go to Google and uh, we'll use a picture of maybe a, a fish or something. So let's see if we can find something. I just pulled up Google and pulled up images. I uh, just want to find something that maybe we can use. Uh, we'll just scroll down and around, find something. Uh, here's one here. We'll try this one. So you just click on the image, uh, view the image, and then we'll just right click and copy it. Then we'll open up our Flexi and we're going to paste it. I'm going to show you the different types of vectorization you can do, how to do it easy, and whatnot. Uh, right now, if you go to File, and you go down to workspace. I'm working in Inspire. Uh, you can work in any one you want, but what we use here is Inspire, and that'll show you everything that we have on the top here. Okay, you want to also make sure you go to Tools and go to Toolbars and make sure you got your Path Edit. This right here is checked off, and that'll give you all these tools right here. Okay, so we just brought this one in. Um, I'm going to show you a couple different ways to do it. Um, First of all, I'm going to multi-copy it so I can show you all the different ways of vectorizing through Flexi, which is uh, pretty easy. So first thing we're going to do is this one here. We'll do the first one. And then you go to Image, go down to Vectorize, and Auto Trace. I'm going to show you what Auto Trace does. Just click on Auto Trace, and then you go around the object. And that's it. Just right-click, Exit Tool and then bring your old one down and it'll show you this is for vector tracing like that okay it's an okay tool uh, if you want to you know put your own colors in or whatnot you know, we don't like to use that one so I'm gonna highlight it and delete it the next one here so we're gonna go to image vectorize and then you have center line trace we don't like to use that one at all it's it just that just vectorizes the center line this is the one we usually use is color trace okay so you click color trace go around the object okay now you pick out how many colors you want uh, right now I put in 12 um, if you see this little click here okay if you click on that that eliminated the outside the black if you click on it again it'll bring it back and then you hit your check mark right click exit tool and now we're gonna grab and we're gonna move it out of the way Okay, so now you have your vectorized fish where you can click and delete. I'm going to go back to this one in a minute. I just want to finish and show you two more. This one here, I'm going to go down to vectorize, Bezier tool. You can use that one. Okay, if you do that, I'm just going to show you what that would look like. Okay, gives you the outline, gives you the inline, no color in the inside. Okay, you can put it back together and push it, color into the inside, but then you have to cut out all the sides. So we don't use that one either for this project. Okay. Okay, so the main one we're, that we're going to deal with today is the color cut. So I'm going to go over it one more time. I'm going to delete this. This is what we pasted in. Okay, so we're going to go to image vectorize color trace okay and then here edge filter I leave it at more okay there's none less more most but we're gonna leave it at right down here to more and we'll do about 12 colors uh, you have your option of how many colors that you want to color trace we're gonna leave it at 12 okay so you're gonna want to go around the image okay and now here this black is checked off okay this is the outside black color Okay, you can check off any colors that you want. I checked off the black color, so the black would be gone in the back. If you want, you just click on it, and it'll reappear. Okay, and you can just hit the check mark. Okay, so I'm going to right-click, exit tool, and get rid of this. Okay, I'm just going to zoom in here so I can show you exactly what I'm doing. You can see I want to take out and move over the existing. Okay, so that we have this one which is the original and this one which is color vectorized okay the first thing I want to do is I want to remove the background okay so I'm just gonna click on the pieces and hit the delete key 
Be easy. Okay, we're going to move this around just in case we need it for reference. We're not going to delete it. I'm going to hit the zoom key, and we're going to zoom into the whole project. Okay. First thing you want to do is what we do here is zoom into some areas that you think there may be problems with, like over here. Um, I see some extra points here, so I'll just click on it, hit the delete key. Same thing here. And then we're going to zoom into the top because I saw some spots there. Okay. When you use this zoom to all, it'll do both of them. We like to use this one here, zoom tool. Okay, so I'm going to zoom tool the object again. I see some spots over here that I'm going to fix. So I'm going to zoom into those spots. Delete. When you do that, it's going to leave me a rough edge where the knife blade would go around. You want to do a nice, smooth cut here. So that's why I told you to open up this toolbar before, okay, because now I'm going to show you how to smooth out all the objects. Very simple, okay. You can do this really fast. Okay, so I saw some problems around here in the nose area, so I'm going to start there, and I'm going to show you. Okay, so your knife blade wouldn't go smooth around here. It would be jagged, and it wouldn't be smooth. Okay, so basically we're going to click on the object, and then we're going to go over here. This is the tool I like to use is the three-point arc tool. Okay, so you click on the three-point arc tool, and see all these nodes that are in here? You don't need all of these. Okay, so basically I'm going to click in front of it, I'm going to click behind it. So now it uses three nodes. Okay, you can move this around if you needed to or whatnot or move it inside. But we're just going to leave it right where it was. And we're going to hit the check mark key, and that's it. Now you get a smooth arc right in here. And anywhere you want to use that, you'll just zoom into the object. And then you can go up here, optimize by three point arc, and check it off. That's it. Uh, pretty easy. Um, you can also use another tool that we have here on the top, Optimize by Curve. That's a good tool to use. You can click on that one, start at the first node, and then click on the other node, and it, what it'll do is it'll smooth the nodes out for you and give you a smooth, uh, instead of having the arc on it, it'll connect these two together. Uh, I don't particularly like to use that one. I like this one better because then I can decide of where I want to click the node whether I want to leave it here, or here, here, or whatnot. Okay, so we can clean that one up later. I'll show you how to do that. Um, here, same thing. If I want to clean this one up here, or if I know that this circle here has to come down, uh, I'll just click on the two nodes like this, and then I would just pull it down, and it would fix the circle for me. Okay. Um, basically, um, you want to just basically go over your whole project. It's pretty quick and easy. Um, you can also, what you can do is you can reduce the nodes on here. Uh, you'll just click on the outside and then you'll come over here where it says join paths, break paths, um, make right angles. You can do that. You can reduce. Um, there's right here, reduce your points. And it'll tell you you want to reduce it by 20% or, you know, 30, 40, 50 percent. You can do that, and it'll take some of the nodes away. But you got to be careful when you do that, is because you can lose some of your object. That's why I always leave the older one up, okay? And then right-click exit, and then you can see the difference between them. This one here now would be clean to cut. Once I finish, get all these little things out of the way. Okay, it's pretty easy. I click here. And I'm just going to round this corner like I showed you before. Right, click down, round that. That's it, nice and smooth arc. You always want to have smooth arcs for any type of vinyl cutting. Okay, now uh, you can easily put this through the vinyl cutter now and it'll cut all your different sections out. Um, you can separate them now. Now that you have the different colors and each color is vectorized, you can change the colors if you wanted to change the colors inside there um, or put gradients in it or whatnot uh, for vinyl printing. If not, then I would just leave it. You go to edit, undo multiple, and go back till you get your back color. And that's it. So you can put it through your vinyl cutter and cut it. Okay, 